that paper came out in 1929 i believe 25 or something like this and that one's readily available but there's a lot of scientific papers that you can't you don't have access to yeah they're behind paywalls right which is insane from decades ago peer review doesn't work peer review doesn't work yeah lifted view first time chat says and a good first time chat peer review has been hijacked right they're basically gatekeepers of information fuck them any scientific paper published from any university okay or by any private company that has had any public funding must be shared the raw data and the paper and the methodology all of it shared online in real time or maybe not in real time because you know mistakes happen but they should be available online for free okay end of story anybody that is against this is an enemy to humanity because you're against sharing information with human beings information that human beings have funded right fuck paywalls okay fuck copyright laws fuck patents it's gone so far to the corporate side that the pendulum has to swing this way and all copyright all patents all paywalls of uh for scientific they all have to be removed we have to swing so far on this side and have a flood of information go through our societies for a number of decades before we can even con contemplate think about reintroducing some type of copyright laws and patents to uh further spawn innovation to a certain degree but i think once you remove copyright and patent and all these paywalls i think you're going to see innovation it might be what saves humanity innovation being uh, uh, coming into our societies in the form of disruptive innovation that, that that's just going to blow away it's going to be a renaissance and a half right 